Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. My name is Martha, and today is going to be an empties video. These are all of the beauty products I used up within the month of February. So I always like to start off with hair care, then body care, skin care, then makeup, because the makeup is the most exciting part, so I save it for last. To start with hair care, I finished up a conditioner, which I'm just gonna put a picture of up here because I'm reusing the bottle because it had a pump and the new conditioner I'm using also has a pump, but the pump is broken. So I'm refilling the old container. So I don't have the bottle. It's in my shower. That was the hair food chai something conditioner. And it was lovely. It smelled beautiful. It worked beautifully. It was a little expensive. I think it was like over $10. But not that much product so I would consider buying it again but it would have to be on sale 100% next hair care item and last hair care item is my Nexus clean and pure invigorating detox scalp scrub so we used all of this little guy it is completely empty when I started focusing on this I was like there's no point in me using this up I'm just gonna buy a new one but after I used up the whole thing, I've decided that it's a little bit more hassle than it's worth. It's really hard to get this down to the roots of my hair. Down to the scalp. It's really hard. It just sits on top of my head. On top of the hair. It doesn't really get down unless you mix it with some shampoo just to like lather it up a little bit. So I'm not going to buy this one again. But I'm interested in finding another scalp scrub. But I also did get one of those little silicone head massage things, which is helpful. So, not gonna buy this one again. It also dried out my hair. It was very kind of drying. Next for body care, we had the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is the travel tube that I carry around in my purse. I do really like this because it's unscented and I can't have scented products at work. This was my work purse hand cream and it's quite nice I do like it it's not the most moisturizing hand cream I've ever tried but it's the best unscented one I have tried so I'll probably end up going back to this I do have a backup tube it's probably just gonna stay my work cream forever next we are into fragrances for the body I have four here we have the Atelier Cologne Oolong Infini. It was one of my little Atelier Cologne samples. This one was four mils. That's what she looks like. I didn't like this. It was a little bit too like peppery for my personal preference. So not a fave, but I used it. Another one that was also like a little bit peppery. I don't know, it just had that little sharp, sharpness to it. This is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne by Jo Malone. This, again, is a mini size. This one had nine mils. So this lasted me a good long while. This took about two months for me to use. And the scent grew on me, but I still don't think that this is a go-to scent by any means. I wouldn't buy this one again. I did kind of like it, but it wasn't a favorite. Two that I did really, really like are by Nest. These are the little minis in three mils, two mils, three mil sizes, Indigo and Dahlia Vines. Both of these were beautiful. Dahlia Vines, very, very floral. Not like an old lady floral. And Indigo was floral, but in more of like a licorice kind of way. Yeah, it has that licorice hint to it. I, did, I really like this one. This one is, is different than any of the other ones I've, than any other perfume I've tried. And that, these Nest perfumes are, are quite nice. I like them a lot. And that's, that's body care done. Wow, okay. Flying through some things. Skincare. 
start with the boring one. Some makeup wipes. These are just from the dollar store. Used them a whole pack. I just use these to remove swatches and clean up my hands while I'm doing my makeup. Water repurchase. Very cheap makeup wipes. Yes. Another makeup removing item is Rodeal. This is Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. So this is a micellar water, but it's like citrus. It smells citrusy. Of course, can't smell it anymore, which is annoying. And this smelled amazing, but I definitely would not recommend this around the eyes. It stung a lot. I am going to keep this little bottle, pour some makeup remover, and that way I can have makeup remover in my bathroom and keep my bigger one on my makeup table. Very exciting stuff. I used up the Good Molecules Ener Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. Another nice little empty container. I would not buy these ones again. While they were fun to use occasionally and they did feel very cooling and nice on the eyes, they were just kind of a hassle and I never ever remembered to use them. I had to re I had to put these in a project to use them up. So these were not worth my money, even though they were affordable and pretty nice for like an eye patch. I used up the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. This was a little container of 60. I got these in a set of First Aid Beauty products. And these were fun to try, but they didn't do as good of a job as like Pixi Glow Tonic. I didn't really notice these doing very much at all for an exfoliating toner. If you're looking for an exfoliating toner, I would go with the Pixi Glow Tonic. If you're looking for an exfoliating serum, I would go with the Pharmacy Glow Honeymoon Glow thing. So I would not buy these ones again. This is kind of a disappointing month of empties. I used up a lot of stuff I didn't really like, apparently. Two moisturizers. The first is the Embryolisse La Creme Concentre. This was 30 mils. This was nice, but not stellar. It smelled like violets, which was a little off-putting, a little old lady smelling, but it was a nice, it was a good moisturizer. It did its job. Another moisturizer that was beautiful is the Caudalie Vino Perfect uh, Instant Brightening Moisturizer. I just had this 15 mil sample and it's all gone and this made my skin so, so soft after I used it. I would put it on at night and I would just let it sink into my skin and I would lay in bed and just like touch my face because it was so, so soft. This is a very expensive moisturizer full size. But if you want a really nice one, this is it. This is great. Lastly, in skincare, yes, we have a little mask. This is from Ren. This is the Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. So this is an exfoliating mask. This was just a mini. I have a set of three minis. Little sample pack. This was 15 mils. 15 mils. And this was okay. I'm not a huge fan. This, um, I didn't love the texture of this. It was very like ointmenty. A little bit like sticky. Didn't didn't love it. Didn't love it. But it did do a little bit of exfoliating. I'd say. I think this. I think this worked, but I didn't love it, so I wouldn't buy it again. And that's skincare. Guess what? We finished some makeup. I'm going to start with the boring stuff. Like the mixing concealers I have. The Catrice Retouch Brightening Concealer. This was a lavender concealer. It was in a pen. I use this to mix and adjust shades of foundation and concealer and same goes for the revolution conceal and correct 
in lavender. Ooh, both of these were in lavender. So these are just like purple concealers that I think normal people use for color correcting. I use them to mix my foundations if they are too yellow. But I use both of these. Two mascaras. We have a Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless. I need to stop buying these because I keep forgetting I don't like them anymore. I used to really, really like this back in university, but my tastes have changed and I don't like it. Stop buying it. What I did really like, however, was this Marc Jacobs one. Oh, what is it called? Accomplice? I don't know. It's the gold stripey packaging. This is a fabulous mascara. I really, really liked it. If I got another sample of this, I would 100% use it. Probably won't buy the full size because it's very expensive. A setting spray I used up was the Ciate Everyday Vacay setting spray. This had 75 mils and it only took me two months to use up in its entirety. But I did enjoy it. It had that nice little... Oh, also smells like coconut. It had this nice little make you look a little bit glowy but not be oily but also make your makeup set in so i liked it i don't think i would buy it again just because you get so little product so little product but it was nice now for the most exciting items oh, which do i start with let's start with the powder okay Yes, Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. We have a little mini, little sample size. Nine grams, 0.9 grams. Well, that's cheating, isn't it? Oh boy. They don't put 0 0.9, they just put 0.9. Oh, those cheeky bastards. Okay, so this was a little sample size of powder, and this is the full size, and I finished both of these. Isn't that fabulous? I'm excited. So I now have no loose powder in my collection. Good for me, I guess. But these were really, really good. Um, I don't really want to buy them again, because they're expensive. And I want to try some other powders first, but if I don't find anything I like better than this, I might go back to it. We shall see. And a foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is in 110C. I like this, but didn't love it. A year or two ago, this was my favorite foundation, so I do have a backup in a different shade because this was not a great shade for me. This was too yellow, so I had to mix it with some lavender. So I liked the formula. It was a nice glowy kind of natural foundation, but it didn't wear super well. It just didn't last very long on my skin. So I wouldn't buy this one again, but I didn't hate it. It was just okay. Well, that was a much more exciting month than the last update. I think I had like two sample size makeup items last month. So that's fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog. And I will see you next time. Bye.